Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equation, we are solving problems under the standard type 3. So, so far we have completed problem 1 to 4 in our previous video lectures. Now, here we have problem number 5. The question is square root of p plus square root of q is equal to 2x. We observe that we have only x, p and q. We don't have z. So, this is uh, and when, whenever z is not present, this will be of the form f1 of x comma p is equal to f2 of y comma q. But if you see, we don't have y in this term also. But though we don't have y, it will come under this type only. I have said about it in our while solving the first problem itself. So remember, whenever z is not present, z is not present, then the given question is of the form f1 of x comma p is equal to f2 of y comma q. Now we will gather the x and p terms to the left. So it will be square root of p minus 2x. So bringing this 2x to the left. And we don't have y. So we will take this q alone to the right. So neg square root of q when taken to the right it will become. Uh, so if you see we have uh, root p plus root q here. So when taken to the right it becomes negative root q. And we will equate these two to a constant a. So when this is equal to a constant a, so square root of p minus 2x will be equal to a. So from this square root of p is equal to a plus 2x. So squaring on both the sides, p will be equal to, we will be having 2x plus a the whole square. So squaring on both the sides, we are getting this. In a similar way, negative q or square root of q will be equal to a. Squaring on both the sides, this negative sign will become plus and square of the square root will vanish. So q will be equal to squaring on the right, you, get, you have a square. So this is the value of q and the value of p is 2x plus a, the whole square. Now we have to substitute these two values in the equation dz is equals to p dx plus q dy. So when we substitute in this, what we get is dz is equal to p is 2x plus a the whole square dx plus q is a square. So a square dy. Now integrating on both the sides. So when you integrate, here in the left, the integration of dz is z is equal to, on the right, the integration of 2x plus a, the whole square is 2x plus a to the power 3 because 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 which is 3 and in the denominator, we have to multiply by 2 which is a constant which is in, in multiplication with the variable x. So, by the rule of integration, we have to divide the constant that is in multiplication with the variable. So here the constant which is in multiplication with the variable is 2 and so we are taking this 2 in the denominator plus the uh, a square is a constant integral dy will be y plus a constant of integration which is b. So therefore the final answer for this will be equal to is, will be z equal to 2x plus a the whole cube divided by 6 plus a square y plus b. So this is the required solution of the given problem. Hope you have understood this problem. In our next video, we will solve problem 6 under the same topic. Thank you.